Hello students, today we are going to discuss about Roots of Drug Administration. Let us see the learning outcome of this video. After watching this video, students should be able to define and classify Roots of Drug Administration, discuss the factors governing the choice of route of administration. To produce any desired effect, first step is that drug should be introduce inside the body and hence uh, root of administration is defined as the path to which drug is introduced into the body in another word we can say that it is a site or place present anywhere on the body through which drug is introduced inside the body drugs are introduced into the body by various ways so root of drug administration is classified on the basis of a which type of effect is produced by that particular drug for example systemic effect or local effect systemic effect means drug up the first get entry within the systemic circulation and then produces effect Whereas the local effect means drug produces the effect in localized area. So root of drug administration classified into main two types systemic root and local root. Systemic root again subclassified as enteral root and parenteral root. Enteral root means here drug is introduced in any part of the GIT. These are again subclassified as oral root, sublingual root rectal root or enema whereas a parenteral root means drug introduced in any part of the body other than the GIT. These are again subclassified as injections and inhalation. Injections are there are number of injections are intradermal, subcutaneous root, intramuscular, intravenous, intraperitoneal, intraarterial, intraartericular, intrathecal, intracardiac, intramedullary etc. Whereas inhalation means where drug is inhaled by the nose and absorbed from the lungs. Now time to reflect on the question how will you choose the appropriate route of a drug administration by taking into consideration of above classification. So pause the video and think on this question with there are number of drugs are available and how the route appropriate route is chosen for administration of these drugs which factors are responsible so pause the video think on it and after thinking play the video let us we discuss the one by one with factors governing the choice of root. First factor is physical and chemical properties of a drug which is the important factor is uh, taken into consideration, consideration while choosing the appropriate root. First one is the physical property of the drug that is the availability in solid liquid gases. Obviously, if drug is available in solid form, it should be administered by the oral route. In case of a gaseous form, drug should be administered generally by the inhalation route. Solubility, generally aqueous soluble drugs given by the uh, aqueous soluble drugs are administered by the different types of injection but oily injections generally given by the intramuscular route. Stability. Some drugs are stable at a particular environment. Take an example, uh, insulin. Is it is an anti-diabetic drug, when it is taken orally, it gets degraded by the gastric juice enzyme. So it is not stable in the gastric juice. Hence it is not given by oral, it is administered by the parenteral route. Next factor is the irritability. Some drugs causes irritation to the GIT and if such a drug are taken by the oral route it having the chances of a produce irritation to the GIT and may lead the omitting. Uh, and if once a drug get omitted there is no effect is produced. So 
तो सच अ ड्रग शुड नॉट बी गिवन बाय द ओरल रूट सेकेंड फैक्टर टेकन इन टू कंसिडरेशन इज द साइट ऑफ डिजायर एक्शन मीन्स द वेदर वी नीड द लोकलाइज इफेक्ट और जनरलाइज इफेक्ट इफ वी नीड द लोकलाइज इफेक्ट इन लिमिटेड पार्ट ऑफ द बॉडी देन ड्रग शुड बी अप्लाइड लोकल रूट वेर एज इफ वी नीड द जनरलाइज इफेक्ट और सिस्टेमिक इट शुड बी एडमिनिस्टर्ड बाय द पेरेंट्रल रूट और सिस्टेमिक रूट थर्ड फैक्टर द एक्यूरेसी ऑफ ए डोसेस इट इज इम्पॉर्टेंट इन केस ऑफ ए पोटेंट ड्रग पोटेंट ड्रग जनरली गिवन इन व्हेरी स्मॉल क्वांटिटी इवन इफ देर इज अ स्मॉल इंक्रीमेंट इन द डोस ऑफ सच अ पोटेंट ड्रग देर आर चांसेस ऑफ ए टॉक्सिसिटी सो दीज ड्रग्स आर गिवन इन एक्यूरेट डोस एंड दिस एडजस्टमेंट ऑफ डोस इज अ ओनली पॉसिबल इन केस ऑफ ए आई वी और बाय इनहेलेशन रूट नेक्स्ट फैक्टर इज द रैपिडिटी ऑफ द डिजायर्ड रिस्पॉन्सेस मीन्स द रेट एंड एक्सटेंट एट विच वी नीड द डिजायर्ड रिस्पॉन्स इफ देर इज द रूटीन ट्रीटमेंट इफ देर इज अ रूटीन देर इज नो एनी इमर्जेंसी देन वी कैन गिव वी कैन गिव द ड्रग बाय द ओरल रूट बट इन इमर्जेंसी केसेस वेर onset of action as well as the uh, fa faster action is needed in such a cases we can't give the drug by oral route there is the in emergency cases parent route route specially iv route is a route of a choice next factor effect of digestive juice and first pass metabolism this is one also important uh, important during the selection of the route of drug administration some of the drug is a get degraded by the enzymes of a digestive juices or gastric juice just we have discussed earlier insulin anti diabetic drug it is not given by oral route because if it is given orally when it entered in the stomach enzyme of a gastric juice attack on it and causes it degradation so there is no therapeutic value or no desired effect produced so such a drug is generally given by parenteral route and in uh, first pass effect or first pass metabolism is also important it is necessary to take into consideration while selecting the route first pass effect means generally drug before reaching to the systemic circulation they are visit to the uh, liver and they get metabolized by the microsomal enzymes present in the liver and their bioavailability less and those undergoes the highly under the first pass metabolism their bioavailability is low and their duration of action is also slow so those drug having higher first pass metabolism they their duration is less so this factor is also taken into consideration in case of the uh, testosterone testosterone is undergo the first pass effect and generally get degraded so this drug is generally given by the parenteral route those drug gen given by oral route all these drugs are undergo first pass effect next factor in selection of a route of drug administration is a condition of a patient this is the patient related factor that is conditions like unconscious in case of a unconscious stage we cannot give the drug by oral route similarly in case of a uncooperative patient like a, um, psychological ill patient or uncooperative patient they are not cooperate the uh, cooperation uh, by taking the drug by oral route so in such a case generally parenteral route is a preferred one similarly one another condition of related to the patient is the omitting if patient is suffering from omitting diarrhea in a such a cases if we given the drug by oral route there is no use such a drug get omitted or excreted through the he said during the diarrhea no produce uh, no, there is no therapeutic effect so such a drugs are again given by the parenteral route trick to remember factors just now we have discussed there are six factors which are important 
and needs to be taken into consideration while selecting the appropriate route of a drug administration how these factors should be remembered so here i have mentioned one trick to remember such a factors uh, remember this sentence we uh, proper site an accurate dose is required to produce rapid effect and improve condition of a patient here some words are given in different colors and these are proper word recall the first factor that is the properties of a drug that is the physical and chemical properties second site site word recall about the second factor that is the site of desired action accurate word recall us about third factor that is the accuracy of a dose rapid word recalls about the next factor that is a rapidity of a desired response effect word recalls about the factor effect of a digestive juices and first pass effect condition word recalls us about the factor that is the condition of patient so this trick should be keep into mind and remember the sentence proper site and accurate dose is required to produce rapid effect and improve condition of patient hope you understood all this let us discuss uh, the summary what we studied in this video that is the definition of route of drug administration classification of route of drug administration factors govern choice of route of drug administration and last trick to remember this factors thank you thank you very much